I know it hasn't been long since I did... Oh Lord. Hey everyone and welcome back to Tea with G. Do you like my cup? <laughs> I got it from Typo. I know it hasn't been long since the last Tea with G. But yes, anyway, a lot of you have been requesting to see me again sit in front of a camera and ramble on about random shit. And yes, I do read the comments. Just because I can't reply to them all doesn't mean I don't read them. So, here we go. <laughs> So you know when you're lying in silence and a weird noise just comes out of your mouth? I'm not talking about a burp or a hiccup, I'm talking about this. Now this always scares the shit out of me, not the noise itself, but because my voice just made a noise without my brain telling it to. And as far as I know, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> like, bitch, I didn't give you permission to let out a tiny orgasm. What the hell was that? Like, it's only happened a few times in my lifetime, so it really makes me question if a tiny portion of my soul is escaping through a high-pitched squeak every few years. Like, do you know what I mean? Well, sometimes I just think it's my brain sending me little alerts. Like, I can just purely imagine me sitting in a nursing home at, like, 85, and I've just zoned out a little too much this time. Like, you know, one of my eyes has started like drifting off to the left and my pinky starts like twitching on its own. Then my brain just sends me a message to be like, I'm still here, bitch. Don't give up on us now. Like, oh. Now my mom always told me I was a very observant person. <laughs> But there's been times I think I'm a little too observant. And some things I notice just really start to irritate me. Like for example, you know the Incredibles like black masks they wear over their eyes, right? Well, was anyone gonna explain to me how the hell these masks also went over their eyelids too? Or are we just like not gonna discuss that? Like I know, this is just an animation and the animators probably just did it because it looked better. But just how that's physically possible was on my mind for weeks after I first watched that movie. Like eight year old me was just like pondering it. Like, you know, do, is it like a glue or like? Do they paint the eyelid in? Like what? This kind of shit eats me up alive. I feel like I'm the only one that notices this crap. <laughs> it's the same with pelicans. And now you might be wondering, Georgia, what's wrong with pelicans? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just the fact that I've never seen a baby one. Where do they come from? But there's gotta be some kind of top secret lab just like plonked in the middle of the ocean where people are just brewing up these Jurassic, ugly looking birds that we call pelicans. Like seriously, for all we know, they could be shoving cameras in their heads as they emerge one by one from tubs of dry ice. Then before they leave the facility, they have to do like a squat test. Right, right, next. Okay, yeah! yep, you're good to go. Send this one to Lake Macquarie. The pelican's an Australian bird. I don't know, but something that I have noticed about Aussies is that we have some bad habits. One of them being the fact that the letter R just does not exist in our vocabulary. It's not car, it's car. It's not heater, it's heater. <laughs> like, forget drop the Y at ING. All we know is drop the R and just fuck stop there. It's a bad habit. It's like when us Australians say same thing to everything. I really didn't notice this until I visited America a few years ago. As Americans are very specific people. Like, if you are ask a flight attendant in America for some lemonade, they'll probably say something like, oh, sorry, we don't have lemonade, we have Sprite though. Like, yeah, same thing, S thank you. Ah, oh, so sorry, we're all dry of tomato sauce, but we do have ketchup though. <laughs> like if I asked my mum to pick up some jats on her grocery shop and she came back with Ritz because they were cheaper, well, there'd be no discussion about it because we'd both have the same thing attitude. And you might be thinking, well, Aussies don't sound that bad. It's not a bad thing to compromise. But if they're out of Sprite on an Australian airline, they'd probably be like, spit into a cup with half a lemon in it and be like, uh, same thing. So you know when people say, I had a dream about you, and then they say, well it wasn't about you, but you were in it. Like, whoa, <laughs> steady on, don't get a big head. <laughs> you weren't the main character, bitch. Like, why do people say that all the time as if dreams actually have a storyline? Like, oh, it wasn't about you, but you did eat a whole Woolies mud cake and then cried as your teeth fell out because the merry-go-round wasn't real and Santa's beard was shedding, so. You know when you wake up and check your phone and then you actually wake up and check your phone? And it's so real, I'll check my phone and I've got a Snapchat from my favourite person and then I realise it's just a dream. Like, I get those sorts of dreams all the time. It's usually when I've, like, woken up and then drifted back off to sleep. I also get these really vivid dreams where I can't open my eyes. In my dream, I feel like I'm doing this shit. I'm like, like just, I just, uh. it's the most frustrating kind of dreams. But occasionally I actually think sometimes I do pry my own eyes open in my sleep because just an image of the roof of my room just pops up in my dream and I'm like, well, that wasn't part of the storyline. <laughs> who, who put that in? I also get dreams where my hair falls out. But luckily, that's just a dream. Thanks to Function of Beauty. <laughs> oh, she's, oh, she's getting... She's getting good at the segue. I continue to work with these guys because I genuinely love their products and I bought my own after I did work with them. As you would know, just like dreams, everyone's hair is unique. Function of Beauty allow you to custom make your own shampoo and conditioner that cater to your hair type and hair goals. My hair type is straight, fine and oily, so I made my goals to volumize, fix split ends and oil control, although you can pick up to five goals. I also chose these to be colorless and smell like milkshake because I 
freaking love milkshakes. And I know this sounds very addy, but I genuinely do tell all my friends to use this because these bottles are the reason my hair is so healthy. Function of Beauty also use clean ingredients, so that means no parabens, GMOs, or toxins. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in my description to get 20% off your first set. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Tea with G. It's nine o'clock and my friend has asked me to go out in town with her. So naturally I'm gonna hit the town, baby. And if you're new to my channel, it'd be really awesome if you could subscribe because we just hit a million subscribers! Oh my god! This has been such a freaking long time coming and, and I used to get so many bloody comments about the fact that I hadn't hit a million yet. So the fact that we finally did it is insane and I'm so, so thankful to each and every one of you that continue to watch and support my little channel that's been up and running for quite a few years. Thank you for sticking by me. It really means a lot. I won't get too stoppy. But yes, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Saturday or Wednesday. See you later, potato. Thank <laughs> you.